CM Hammer has a long tradition of designing and developing new products that increase safety at sea through their combination of ingenuity and top quality production. The Hammer H20 release unit for life rafts is just one example. It has proved to be a major safety asset, making it the number one selling unit of its kind in the world. The company has now set out to solve the problems encountered with life jacket inflators. We wanted to uh, solve the problem uh, with uh, inadvertent inflations for, for life jackets. That's a well-known fact in, in uh, the business, that uh, automatic in, uh, life jackets are, are inflating because of the high humidity in, in, uh, in the air or in the rain. With the Hammer MA1, the solution to the problems was found. Very early we, we uh, started to look at uh, protecting, uh, protecting uh, the water sensitive element that, uh, that's uh, reacting to, to the humidity. And uh, inside this part of the unit there is a, there's a valve, hydrostatic valve, and the valve doesn't open for water and water inlet to, to the water sensitive element until you have reached a few centimeters of water depth. When the hydrostatic valve opens and lets the water reach the water-sensitive element, the stainless steel coil spring is released. The spring then drives a needle into the end of the gas cylinder and gas instantly fills the life jacket. Total buoyancy is reached within seconds. Another of the company's aims was that the inflator should be approved in accordance with the standards set by the U.S. Coast Guard. The single point indication, indication system is a requirement in, in the U.S. Coast Guard standards. One single point indicator should verify that the unit is in usable condition. If the indicator is green, everything is okay. Also something that is uh, quite unique on, on this unit and uh, we have as much as five years uh, life length on the unit. Every unit is marked with an expiry date. Hammer has also placed the gas cylinder inside the bladder. And that is to, uh, to give uh, protection against uh, the humidity and water as uh, corroding cylinders on life jacket cylinders is, is a well-known problem in, in the business. The protective position of the cylinder adds to effective inflation even in extreme temperatures. We focused the testing on, on the most severe uh, situations and uh, where we were actually exposing the, the unit to, uh, to a lot of water and, and uh, uh, water spray and actually even wave splashes to see that uh, it, it was uh, well protected against uh, inadvertent uh, inflations. With its unique features, no accidental inflation in rain, spray, splash and humidity a single point indicator, the gas cylinder protected inside the bladder, and no service on the inflator cap required for five years, the Hammer MA1 has now been approved by the U.S. Coast Guard. In fact, it's the first unit that has been approved to the highest standard uh, according to the U.S. Coast Guard standards. If the Hammer MA1 unit has been used, it has to be rearmed. The rearming kit provides all necessary components. Place the life jacket on a flat surface. Hold the cylinder through the fabric. Insert the metal key provided in the rearming kit between the black locking ring and the yellow cap. Turn counterclockwise to open the locking ring. Turn the locking ring further by hand and lift off the cap. Squeeze the sealing ring. Remove the inflator body. Check the indicator on the new inflator body. The indicator should be green. Insert the inflator body with the cylinder pointing upwards inside the jacket. Make sure the sealing ring rests on the adapter around the four lugs. Check the new cap to ensure that the indicator shows green. Hold the gas cylinder as before and position the cap with the inlet valve pointing to the right. Press firmly into the inflator body and turn the locking ring clockwise into the lock position. After rearming, always inflate the jacket through the oral tube and check that it stays inflated overnight. The life jacket is now ready to be used with its new inflator. 